going to say that you are lopsided like the So hunchback. welcome back to Firewatch. Um in the last episode we were well we scared the kids away. Or oh, somebody else did. Um and now we're repairing the window of the watchtower. And I'll jump right into it. By the way, I'm not white. It's not very uh you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm, had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. So. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. Um... Yeah, let's go for that. Mustache, real thin um, mustache. Big, big I, I, I don't trust her. So she's... My eye, down my cheek. Well, I just happen to have a thing for thin mustaches. The thinner and pervier, the better. Really? Well, you are <laughs> in luck. And a horrible scar. <laughs> just perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is, is that okay? Yeah, see, uh, she's drawing like a wanted pose so don't fast. Answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Aww. Well, I'm but lying. I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. I just wanted to take a seat. <laughs> so they are not letting me do any work here. They can't work like this if I'm not supposed to sit down. I mean, come on. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Oh, yeah. Um, it's an awesome, awesome sunset. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I mean, a um, yeah. couple of kids disappear, uh, and she wants to play down. I mean, it's her I fucking really job as a ranger to, to find them. neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. 
Oh, and that's it. <laughs> well, at least I could apply rope. Wherever I've been, didn't have a chance to look at my fucking map. Henry, Henry, wake up. Well, the kids are probably dead by now. Um, it's been twelve days. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Um, and she's lonely. A word. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, it's my wife. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, yeah, I'm hitting on my co-worker. Uh... Henry? Are you having a nice time? <laughs> yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, Delilah is her name. I thought her name was Dap or something. Day 33, okay, 30 days later. Now the kids are really dead. And probably everybody else too. Where the hell are we? I can to retrieve the pain supplies. In the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Okay, let's see. Hey, so who's Jules? Are we on I, the right track? I mean I assume it's your ex. Oh yeah. We are. Um, can't. I, I don't mean to pry. It's just, um. Uh, she's. Wait, did I tell you about her? Uh, well, I didn't. She was no, listening in. Not exactly. <laughs> then, how? You fucker. A couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. And um, no, were... she called in the <laughs> middle of the night. In your sleep? And you listened in. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. Um, but. Uh, I really don't want to talk about her, all right? Jeez, um, must have been a real fuck up. What did I just say? Oh, uh, look, so Where a couple of months before I took down? this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's Javier, caring, really? <laughs> sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Oh, I was wait, working with the Wyoming rope. Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. Have we been and here I was before? sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse okay, to looks lucky. get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and... For some reason. Okay, yeah, this must be it. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So well, he probably did. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. You haven't told me anything about you, and that's okay. But, uh, there you go. There's a whole lot about me. <laughs> um, okay, where the fucking supply drop? Probably somewhere over here, alright. 
some fences and supply drop 60 feet so yeah it is here yeah let's take that uh, we're two forks right Yep. Okay. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Yep. Who do you think I am? Day 64 already. Man, time is passing fast. seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year yeah it's really going i'm gonna call it in <laughs> okay talk to we'll lila the shot crew for some suppression but i bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer and she doesn't have a name yet i usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them but why don't you do the honors um Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. <laughs> Can you sell that as a name? <laughs> I didn't know you liked that stupid joke. Well, I did. I mean, it was my second day. I didn't feel as... Um... Diffusive. Flapjack. Yeah. Sure. Diffusive. <laughs> okay, whatever. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Um... So there's this creek down the hill. And, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? Uh, run around at Nike it. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Oh, by the way. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Hmm. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Ah, fuck. Well, I was actually, I was looking around everywhere else. Um, of course, I was, th there was a bottle of whiskey somewhere. Out of, um... He actually picked up the books. There was a bottle of whiskeys and uh, there was these fireworks that were standing here. I remember that. Now they're gone. This doesn't make sense. Okay, well, whatever. Let's look at the fire. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down you can just get lost. Oh, so she's a pyromaniac. Yeah. That too. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I look forward talking to you, even if you don't feel comfortable opening up. You always can. I oh, wish she is hitting on me. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... So, what are you wearing right now? What? What could we do? Okay, you go ahead. Oh, come on! 
just as it was getting interesting. Are you kidding me? Damn you. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Well, at least we've been you here before. Leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old. Oh no, not the flashlight. Um, same old problem. Find the fucking path. Okay, here we are. Um, are there any bear tracks? Okay, what the hell is it? What? The, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? For Pete's Someone station. has written down what we said to each other, what? have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. So what about the beer uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Well, of course they can listen then. Henry? I'm worried. Oh wait, can I take a picture of this? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, okay, oh cool. I, I can take a picture of it. Um... Cool. And then take that again and put it away okay uh, where's my camera because I'm with this leading two forks oh there's something hmm <laughs> well, this. Well, this is where the noise came from. Maybe we can find some more beer tracks. I've never been here before. And there's another supply cache. Cool. So at least now we get a better map and maybe some more hints. What is this? Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say it though? But just being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know, I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been the, been there, I guess you might have got I guess you must have must have got hung up. Dave, amigos is Spanish professionals professionales is Italian. What? Oh, and it's a note from 86. 
Are you kidding me? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, so we found that. Um, still so we were looking for beer tracks, right? Oh, strange noises all over the place. This roar. This is no dark. Okay, so we are back here Yeah, what the fuck? Where the hell did he come from? Or her? Henry? I mean, it was clearly set up because there were no beer... What happened, Henry? No I beer tracks anywhere around the lake. We the looked for, for them all. By someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does yeah, Wapiti Station mean clipboard. anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Oh wait. That's just. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake towards the west. Thanks, D. Hmm. <laughs> okay, if she says so. Um, because right now we're going to the east. Okay, yeah, so there must be a track somewhere around here, leading to the right. Oh, yeah, like this one. I <laughs> found a track for change. Doesn't happen all too often. Um. Oh yeah, well we're here. Uh, place another road. And then is this way. This is leading west. So 
So do we actually have to go down here? Yeah, okay, looks like it. Who? Ah, no, wait. Um, I was going to press space. Please? Hello? Okay, there we go. And... Well, this looks artificial. I can take any of them. So, what else? Well, this is <laughs> interesting. Alright, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe 18 got US code paragraph 1863? Like what? Oh, let's take another picture. Um, get through the fence. Okay, this is apparently another dead end. Okay, this is for PT. Let's take another picture of that. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Use rock. Um, okay, that rock is gone. Okay, now it says you can't get in. Um, here's another rock. Let's try that. Maybe this rock is better. Nope. Okay. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Hmm. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, so let's go there. So where did we come from? There, there. Where do we need to go? Okay, we're up here and I think it's down there and way south. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Well, let's just hope this is the way. Okay. A little more to the left, I think. Okay, this must be the way. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Uh, who's everyone else? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? Well, the people disappearing know, left and right. That's the track record of Henry, it. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, 
I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, so she's okay. <laughs> she's really beyond it, right? Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Well, hell, of course, the thought. ranges, ranges I, I frequency. Everybody can listen. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Okay, this is south. Okay, then we are on the right track. Or trail or whatever. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't. Have a good feeling. I don't <laughs> like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Oh, well, that fucking gap in the bush. Don't expect you to care as much about it. But I'm probably just working myself up into a tizzy over nothing. Sorry, we just need to focus on what's happening to us. Where the hell am I? Where can I go here? I mean, there was gap in the bush like twice this looks like somebody's hidden something here they want me to find it or, or something but there's nothing <laughs> well if you know there's something hidden here f let me know in the commands maybe or at least I think I haven't been here before Oh, and another deposit box. So this will probably update our map. But oh, the flapjack fire is still there. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? That's why those guys came out to burn that line. Ron really wish the power that could be the power that B could issue us radio that they didn't suck ass. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her mum. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fives instead. Miss you, Dave. Um, it's other queer all couple. Do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Oh, we found some toilet paper. Uh, like, why would I examine it? Some stupid toilet paper. Terminal 7. All books are by Richard Sturgeon. Okay, this one isn't. The Accidental Survivor. Um, what's this box? Okay, yeah, I guess that's it. <coughs> okay, where's the <coughs> stupid camp? 
we're here and we have to go south. Okay, that way. Find firefighters. The no scout can pass control burn. Um, it's this the controlled burn? Guess so. Um, and now it's a bit more south than left, so I hope this is the way. Oh wait, here's something. Um, camp apartheid or something. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay. So yeah, I wanted to walk down the ravine on the other side, but it wouldn't let me. So one foot uh, works over here somehow. Oh, here's something. Really a long drop down. Okay, looks like you found it. Scout camp. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna end this episode here for today before we explore the scout camp a little more. Oh, I can see already an X. Awesome. So we got everything to break into um, Camp Partiti. Papiti. Cool. And we are going to explore the rest of the camp in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Maybe subscribe if you would like to see more of this. Um, I just lost two subscribers um, because I had to take a little time off. Um, so you'd really do me a favor in subscribing, um, yeah, nobody ever watches this. I want to have a reason to continue, really. Thanks <laughs> so much.